Dr. Parizas Chandran presenting on behalf of my students, Christine Bukal, Zane Birchfield, Alex Hader, and Alexander Rolford. These two are seniors, and these two are um, one is a sophomore and I one is a freshman. The title for the project is Construction of Biodigester and Alternate Inexpensive Energy Source. The initiative for having this project is to build a homemade inexpensive biodigester in order to produce methane gas and fertilizer. The biodigester resembles like a human stomach. The process begins with organic material decomposed by bacteria. And the two products are the biogas as well as the fertilizer. In doing this experiment, they have learned the techniques of design and construction. They have understood the concepts of building different components in the field of mechanical and chemical engineering. They learned to troubleshoot, the assembly, and calibrate all components for building an effective device. They researched to find out the amount of components of the material that can be used to create an efficient energy source. The knowledge gathered enable them to equip themselves to enter a workforce that leads to bring back industries to this region. There are large-scale anaerobic digestions available now um, in the world. And one of the tanks is shown in this, um, for this type of digestion, and it is in Europe. There are a lot of disadvantages and disadvantages in doing this. The advantages are it combined treatment of different organic waste and waste waters. You have a high reduction of the volume of waste and generation of renewable gas, as well as the potential for greenhouse gas emission reduction. And remaining sludge can be used as a fertilizer. The disadvantage is we need uh, expertise in designing, constructing, operating, and maintaining a large um, piece of equipment. And also, you need high technical and organizational complexity involved in it. High sensitivity of methogenic bacteria to a large number of chemical compounds um, is produced. What is an anaerobic digestion? It is a sequence of processes by which microorganisms break down biodegradable material in the absence of oxygen. The process used for industrial or domestic purposes to manage waste or to produce fuels. This diagram explains how it works. It contains a gas tight environment where the inputs are the organic waste and the outputs are energy and nutrients. In this figure, so illustration of a prototype, here they've used two different buckets. But for our system, we have modified this. That will be shown later. Here are the two buckets. One acts like a biodigester, and the other one is a collector of uh, gas as well as nutrients. So before building a biodigester for the project, they constructed a prototype with hand soap bottle as a container so that they know exactly how much quantity to be uh, used um, for, the bio, uh, for, for creating uh, gas as well as the waste. So this diagram or this picture gives you some indi uh, indication of what they did. They used a hands of bottle container. They did two holes, one for the input and one for the output. And the materials that they chose are the manure, composite, water, and food waste on the same ratio. And you can see that uh, after five days of digestion, you'll see a small amount of gas that has been produced. That tells us that this process works. 
So they did um, this experiment and they waited for 10 days after digestion and found that there is an increase in the gas production. So they used a gas meter uh, to find out how much gas has been produced. They found that uh, they, for this amount of nutrients, uh, for, for this amount of materials, they found out they can produce 11 parts per million of methane gas and for if you wait for more days it can produce 15 ppm so once they established that uh, this process works they built a biodigester uh, this is a little bit different from what you have seen previously this is what is called a telescopic biodigester where it, it has got two um, buckets place one into the other and this works as a collector, gas collector, and this works as a biodigester, and it's completely enclosed. And you see, as soon as the gas forms, this will come up, and uh, the uh, the slurry will be on the. Uh, it's not shown on the other side, so that they can remove the uh, wa uh, waste. Um, that is the nutrient that can be used for as a fertilizer. This is shown here. This shown here, and as soon as this uh, gas uh, expands, this one um, comes up, and then they can uh, uh, take the gas, uh, exit the gas through this tap, and then as soon as the gas is exerted, this will go down and start collecting. So to make this prototype, they have um, used parts from Lowe's. It contains two uh, buckets as well as the different parts uh, for uh, building this wire digester. Um, there are um, advantages of using methane in household. Most of the third world countries, they utilize a small scale biodigester um, in their homes also to produce methane to power furnaces, water heaters, stalls, and fireplaces. There are other environmental benefits um, from the organic materials that uh, can be separated from the municipal solid based uh, stream and proceed, uh, processed in an anaerobic digester. And you have, um, once it has been digested, you'll get to produce uh, biogas. And this is a renewable source of energy. And also, the digestate can be used as a nutrient for uh, farms. And also the biodigestion system captures methane and allows to use methane in a beneficial way. These are the environmental benefits um, from this biodigester. They presented this um, at the uh, recent innovation celebration at our capital, um, Frankfurt in Kentucky. So, um, state representatives uh, Chris, Harris, uh, Chris Harris and Angie Hatton, they visited and they were real, uh, they interacted with our students and were very proud of their um, uh, project. And also, um, they were visited by uh, Mr. David Couch, our associate commissioner. And they were talking to my uh, kids, and you should see the interaction uh, uh, with our students. They seen that uh, they told me that uh, it was one of the best projects they'd ever seen uh, from a student's point of view, high school students just doing this type of work. So the students like to um, acknowledge Belfry High School administration for using the facilities. And also they like to thank Mr. Will Edward for helping uh, to get materials for the project and also Don Collins uh, from uh, Lowe's, who came uh, with us to um, uh, get the parts uh, from the store. And the members would like to thank the Kentucky Valley Education Co-op for providing funding for this grant to carry out this project. Thank you. <laughs>